Hey guys, welcome to Tesla Evangelist uh, 2023 uh, Christmas Tesla nut gift list. So I'm going to go over some things that um, maybe if you're looking to get something for that Tesla nut in your life, um, here's a few things that catch my eye. So the first one, and most of these are going to be on Tesla shop. So you go to shop.tesla.com and uh, the first one is going to be Tesla's umbrella. Um, this is a pretty, it's, it's a full size, um, <clears throat> a pretty big umbrella and it looks really nice. It's $60 Has a great, uh, emblem, uh, of the Tesla T on the outside. And it also has these cool red accented, um, uh, structural pieces on the underside. So you get a little bit of that, uh, sporty flavor. Um, yeah. And it wraps up really nicely. Unfortunately, right now it's out of stock. Um, which I've never seen it out of stock before, I don't think. Uh, I don't actually have one of these, um, but anyway, it's something that uh, is super useful and also very stylish. The next thing we're going to go to is the portable wireless charger. Um, and there's actually a second version of this out now. <clears throat> um, and I have one right here that I can show you right here. I actually have two of these. I have this one and I also have it in the midnight silver because that's the color that my um, model three used to be. This is the color of our X. Um, so this is this is pretty nice. This it's a decent size. I forget what the what the milliamp rating is or something like that. But you can get it to match your vehicle. And what's nice about this is that it has it's we've got plenty of battery space, um, battery power, and then the way the cables are integrated here is just awesome. On this side, you've got um, uh, <clears throat> what is this? Not USB. Yeah. USB three. No, not USB. Uh, I'm blanking on what this is called. Anyway, it's what Apple just switched to. And, um, and then you've got on the other side, same cable, uh, is regular USB. So if you have a USB C, that's what it's called. So if you have a USB C uh, device, it's really easy to, if you want to, um, if you want to connect it directly, it's really easy to do that. And if you have a, um, another device that uses a uh, regular USB uh, that also works. Um, you can also, this is, you also charge the device by plugging this in uh, that way. This also comes off, so you can use the cable for something else if you need to. And then it's also a flat cable. So when you put it in the groove around like this way, around like this, you don't even know that it's there. Um, it's got a nice Tesla on the emblem. Uh, it's colored on this side and then it's matte on the other. It's got little rubber feet uh, so that it's not scratching things. And then it's got a little uh, bumper here. Uh, this is also a wireless charging pad. So you can put your phone or um, you know anything else that charges wirelessly, earbuds or whatever, on top here and you can charge wirelessly. You control it uh, down here. I think you, you uh, hit it once to turn it on and then it shows you uh, how much is charged. And then I think you long press it to activate the wireless charging. It doesn't start automatically. Um, if you have the device, if you have a device hard plugged into the, to the battery, all you have to do is turn it on. You don't have to do anything extra. But the other thing that's super cool is that this not only can wirelessly charge other things, it can also wirelessly charge itself. Um, not from the top, but uh, so you can put this like in your vehicle, especially new Teslas have wireless uh, charging for phones. Uh, you can stick this uh, on a wireless charger and it will charge your backup battery. So that's really convenient. Um, these aren't really cheap. These are $70. Um, so it is a little bit pricey, uh, but it's really compact. It's, uh, you know, you could fit this in a stocking stuffer again. And again, it comes in all the Tesla vehicle colors so you can match it to your Tesla Um I've used this all the time on road trips and, and whatever. It's just, it's a great form factor and it's a decent sized battery. Anyway, so wireless Tesla charger. Next is Tesla Tequila. This is not available right now. You can get this on uh, third party sites like, uh, like eBay or something like that. Um, that is a very specialty item. It has an absolutely really cool, uh, charge or lightning bolt like <coughs> kind of flask that it comes in. I think it was, how much was it? 250 or something i don't know uh but some people are people are selling these too make sure that you're getting make sure you have somebody that's actually selling the tequila not just the bottle um because i think you can get the bottle actually 
through. Nope. They don't have the bottle right now. Okay. Well, anyway, but that brings us to our next one, which is the Tesla sipping glasses. So this is a $60 item and you get this cool, um, double glass, um, kind of angle, very cyber truck, like <coughs> modern minimalistic looks like something that would be designed by Franz probably was. Um, and it's, it's a duff. Yeah. It's a, so it's a double, um, liquor, uh, sipping glass with the holder. Um, and it's very elegant and this is on the store for $60 right now. So that's kind of the going rate for interesting stuff on Tesla store. Um, all right. The next one is air valve stem caps. This is a super cheap item. This would be a great stocking, stocking stuff where this is something that people don't actually think about customizing on their vehicles. So the little air valve stem on your tires that you hook up a hose to pump up your tires, they have caps on them that thread on. People are always losing them. Well, you can get, you can get custom ones that look cool. You can add, it's, it's kind of like adding earrings to your car is the way I think about it. So you could get, you could match your paint color. You could get red, uh, valve stems. You could do a contrasting color. You could do pink, uh, breast cancer awareness month or something like that. Um, it just kind of, it's a little something you can get them for like, I don't know, probably like 10 bucks or five bucks or something like that on eBay. Maybe get a couple of sets for different seasons, uh, do red and green for Christmas or something. But these are, it's a very cheap, very, uh, very easy way to customize your vehicle. So those are, and those are called air valve stem caps in case, uh, you know, you, um, I didn't know that's what they were called. Um, all right. Next is, uh, Tesla's belt buckle. I do have this. Uh, this is the um, Gigafactory Texas belt buckle. Uh, I don't have it with me to show, um, but this is, uh, oh, this is only $50, so we're getting cheaper. Uh, this is really cool. Um, you, uh, obviously, you, uh, you know, there's a limited number of clothing items that you can wear this with. It doesn't come with a belt. This is just a belt buckle, but it's kind of a collector's item. It's very intricate, looks really cool. Um, Tesla has this actually on their uh, Tesla robots that they have on display. They put the belt buckle uh, right on the waistband on their robots. Um, I think when this was released, it was $100. I thought maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm thinking of other stuff. But anyway, so the uh, Giga Texas belt buckle. Um, may the, I don't know. This box might be a little too big to, uh, I, think, I think the box is about this big. The belt buckle is probably about that big. So it might fit in a big stocking. Otherwise, it might have to be a standalone gift. Um, okay. Tesla socks. Did you know these exist? Um, not a lot of people do. So Tesla has a variety of socks. Um, for kids, they have red ones and black ones, kind of Christmassy for adults. They have socks that have, um, lettering, Tesla lettering. And, but what's cooler is the cyber socks and you can get sets of them. They have them gray and black and they've got like the, um, forget what you call it what style that is but the crazy cyber font kind of thing and it says i think it says cyber truck on the side but it's actually hard maybe it says cyber sock i can't tell graffiti sock set that's what it's called two sock two pairs of socks uh for thirty dollars and uh these you can stuff anywhere so that's kind of oh and then they also have some that have that um that angled owl icon they've got some with those and i believe Cyber truck icon set. Yeah, these are all in stock still. So um, as of Thanksgiving 2023, those are still in stock. So check those out. I do have a pair of those. I don't wear them very often because I don't want to stretch them out and ruin them. All right, next is something new this year, the Cyber Beer. Uh, this might have been released in Germany last year, I forget, but now it's available in the Stets. This is not just Cyber Beer, but it's the Cyber Beer and Cyber Stein limited edition set. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, I do have this. Uh, I haven't tasted the beer yet. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but that's kind of not the point. It is a beer, um, beer brewed in Germany. A Helles lager with European noble hops, saws, and Allertau Middelfuhl. I don't know what any of that means. Um, <clears throat> except the word hops in European. So this is $150, so this would be a great standalone set. Um, and, but not only does it come with, um, it, these two, uh, really interesting cyber steins 
and uh, which are really cool designs. And inside that is a bottle of the uh, German beer. And then it comes with these really great um, Stein mugs. So uh, they're fairly large, but they're angulated. And uh, it's a really cool set, and that's $150. Um, so that's then that and the pre-orders for that. I think I think we bought that in the summer, and then it arrived earlier last month or this month, early November, and now it's back in stock. So I'm sure I bet you could get it before um, for the Christmas season. Um, okay, the cyber opener. So still on the beer um, trek here. We've got the cyber opener. This is a super cool looking item. It's fifty dollars though for a bottle opener. It looks amazing. It's just so sleek and cool. Uh, it's also, I think, fairly sizable, although I don't know the actual edges. Um, take it for what it's worth. Uh, if you've got the $50 and you really need something for that Tesla nut or that cyber nut, um, the cyber opener is uh, is a great option right there. And again, it's $50. Uh, and this is, it says it's still in stock. So, um, all right. And then the largest... The pro, I think the most expensive um, beer item on here is what is just became now available in stock again is the Cyber Quad um, Ride On Toy for Kids. Uh, this is just an awesome looking uh, thing that any kid is going to love to drive. Um, it's a steel frame. It's got really big wheels. Now the original one um had a a spring suspension in the rear and from they just re-released this and i cannot tell from these pictures whether it does have the uh suspension in the rear i would imagine it does because it's still nineteen hundred dollars i think it used to be eighteen hundred dollars so now it's a little more expensive but um this is just like if your kids love the Cybertruck or the Cyber Design or into Tesla or whatever, they're just going to have so much fun on this. Of course, you need to make sure they have a helmet. So the specs on this are that it is powered by a lithium-ion battery, which is uh, which is more expensive for kids' toys. A lot of a lot of the kids' ride-ons just have lead-acid batteries. Those are generally the, the cheaper ones. And then a lot of com- a lot of other companies use lithium-ion, but it is more expensive because it's better and it charges faster. Uh, it's got an LED light bar. Um, and it's got 15 miles of range, probably not at max speed. That's usually not how the ratings work. Uh, top speed of 10 miles an hour, which I think is slower than the previous one. Um, 10 miles an hour is probably like a slow run for an adult. So it can move quite quickly for um, kids. You know, if, if a kid ran into another kid at 10 miles an hour, you could they could get... Um, Wilds moderately injured, but it's they're not going to be like speeding all over the place or anything like that. And it does have a high low switch, so you can set it from either 10 miles per hour or limit it to five miles per hour if you have young kids. Um, yeah, so a 500 watt motor, it's a 36 volt um architecture, which is good. That means it's it's powerful enough to like you know get over hills and bumps and stuff like that, it's not going to wimp out or something like that. $1,900, though, so you got to have some spare change if you want to get this one, but it is an amazing thing. Uh, there is no other um, vehicle like this for kids with this kind of, with the cyber styling. There are other um, ride-on toys like that, that that have lithium-ion batteries that are significantly cheaper than $1,900. <laughs> In fact, you can get you can get batter, lithium-ion battery um Full suspension, uh, two seat go karts um, with that will go up to 20, 25 miles per hour for I think less than that. Well, actually, about the same, two thousand dollars, including two batteries. Of course, this includes battery too. But um, the one that I'm talking about is through Greenworks. Uh, so this is definitely up priced because it's Tesla and because of the styling. But not. Too many people are going to have these, so it is a unique item that your kids are going to love, or your spouse might love. Maybe you have a small spouse, I don't know. Uh, there is a video of the original one, Franz, the designer at Tesla. Um, you, you can fit on these as an adult, you're not supposed to. Well, if I say fit, you, you can't ride them, it's probably not super comfortable, you're kind of sitting too far back and stuff, but again, if you have a small spouse, it might work. 
Um, okay. And the last thing is something kind of new this year. This is not through Tesla's uh, website, but I thought it was pretty cool and it's worth mentioning EcoPower Test Fridge. So this is basically a front refrigerator custom designed to the shape and size of the Model Y and the Model 3 um, trunks. And it's really cool. It fits, uh, it fits right in the back. I think it runs off of the um, DC power um, inside the cabin, like a cigarette lighter power or something like that. Um, there's two sizes uh, to this thing. I think it's tw yeah, 20 and 35 liter <clears throat> capacity. Um, and it looks like the larger one takes up most of the... So it, do it doesn't go on top of the front. It actually goes in what's called the sub trunk. Um, so... And I believe you do have to keep like the sub trunk open uh, when it's on because it is, um, I mean, it is a little refrigerator, so it's taking heat from the inside and it's and it's uh, pumping it out of the container to keep your contents cool. But that means you have to have ventilation in order to pump that heat out. Otherwise, it's going to stress the thing out. Um, so that's something to consider. But it's not a big deal because it, it fits in so well and you can you can keep other stuff on top of it. You just don't want that that plate covering all the vents and stuff. Uh, this starts from $370. Um, they have this through Indiegogo. Um, and I'm trying to think if, what is the, uh, what is the price here of the different models? Okay, so the 20 liter is $300 and the 35 liter is $350. So that's reasonable. If you guys do a lot of trip or, or, or if, you know, if you have, if you're constantly like wanting to cool your groceries or your ice cream or something, when you're uh, on your way home from Costco or something like that, or you have another errand to run after you do that, and then you want to keep stuff cool. Um, we often have those Costco cooler bags with some ice things, but this way you've basically got a little refrigerator inside your Tesla and you can put those cold items right in there. Uh, this says that it will go down to um, minus four degrees Fahrenheit. That's very cool. For reference, that's a that's about what um, a freezer is kept at. <clears throat> um, somewhere around zero. <clears throat> Stand up freezers, deep freezers are are below zero. So I don't, um, and it says it only takes 30 minutes for food and drinks to cool down from 50 degrees, which that's already kind of cold, to minus four degrees, so frozen. Uh, so that's reasonable. Basically, like if you go to the store, you, you'd want to be prepping this and um, you want it to be running while you're in the store getting cold and then you can put it in. But if, or if you're on a trip or you're, you're just, you know, taking cold food somewhere and you want to keep drinks cool and cool and you don't want to have like, cabin space um taken up by um either your cooler with ice which by the way you're losing space because you have to put ice in it this loses a little bit of space because it has the motor to run the uh refrigerator unit which is on one side so that's that's yeah, i guess that's kind of a trade-off um but you don't have to drain melted ice and again it's not taking up foot space it's not taking up console space or something like that so uh, pretty cool option. I kind of wish they, th again, this is for Model Y or Model 3. The 20 liters is for um, Model 3, $300. The th 35 liter is for Model Y, uh, which is $350. I wish they had one for the Model X. Uh, that would be really awesome. Uh, I don't have a Model Y or a Model 3 anymore. Um, so that's the final final thing. That's kind of a moderate. That's definitely cheaper than the uh, Cyber Quad for kids, um, but it is still a sizable um a sizable investment <clears throat> um, but that would be a really cool thing if you are a tesla family um i mean you could put that in a, in some in another truck or, or another trunk as long as it fits it doesn't have to go in there um you can look up the uh measure your dimensions and see if it fits i wonder if they have do they have the dimensions here yeah so the model 3 one is 26 by 17 by 10 inches roughly that's the exterior dimensions the Model Y one is um, 30 by 18 by 14 uh, estimated um, inches. And uh, the smaller one weighs 25 pounds, the other weighs 30 pounds, um, which, I mean, it's just going to sit there. You're not going to be pulling this in and out. Um, 
So that's it. I hope this is helpful. Um, I hope this is also soon enough. You've got, uh, yeah, you've got over a month till Christmas. So uh, get something on order. A lot of the Tesla things often go out of stock. Um, definitely not as much shopping going on this year. I think people are a little crunched this year. Um, so, uh, but yeah, there's got to be something that you can use there. Um, and uh, there, I, also, there's there's lots of other stuff. There's lots of clothing items. Um, Oh, the one the other thing I was going to mention for Teslas is the level two charging adapter. Um, you can get that separately, I think. Uh, let's see how much. Oops. $50. So the level two charging adapter, they're so easy to, to lose. Or like if you can forget it, like it, it, you could leave it in a public one and take out your cord and forget to take it or something like that. That's um, I have two because I had... I had two mobile kits for my two Teslas. And um, so I have a spare, but it is nice to have a spare. So if you don't have one or your vehicle didn't come with one or something like that, uh, there are $50 on Tesla's website. And that is a very nice thing um, to to have. So there's lots of other things. Like I said, mugs, clothes, other specialty items, chargers, mobile, mobile connectors, um, kits, garage chargers, all kinds of stuff on Tesla's website. So check it out. And yeah, I hope you guys have a holiday, a great holiday season. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.